Well, hello everyone. This is Quartz Angle Mouse. We are going on with the um, um, Conquest of Alexander on the difficulty. I was taking a look at the map to see where we left the last time. We have 16 cities left to conquer, but let's remember that we also want to get the 200 score. The last city is not going to count because the game ends immediately, so it won't count the last 5 points. We will have 15 more cities in terms of score. That is going to be um, 75 points, so 155 total from the remaining conquest. That means we need 45 more points from settled cities. 45, that's 9 cities. So I'm estimating that Pella will do this, Hetairoi, and then two settlers, one here, one there. Uh, so that leaves me with seven more settlers. We have one here, so that leaves me with six more settlers. And we have one coming in Agai, one coming in Methone, and even one coming eventually in Amphipolis. A little bit late, but we are going to have one more population soon. So I guess we're going to be all right. Um, with these three, this means we would still have... Um, Three, three more settlers left. I would like to purchase only two settlers if possible, so maybe I try to produce one more. I'm not sure if one more here or one more there. Uh, I think this city produces them faster than this one. We have nine production here and here we have 13. No, oh, actually this one gets more production. We're going to get one more population to recover this one soon. So maybe I do it in Methone. It's, it's closer to the area that uh, have room for settlers. So yeah, maybe a guy will not produce any more settlers. Or maybe one more and just one in Pella. And then I just produce gold in these two cities to purchase stuff. So yeah, that's that's where we're going in order to try to get the 200 score before the game finishes. But let's remember, I want to conquer Parsa by turn 23. I think it's very doable. It's looking good right now. Yeah. And this, this galley is not doing the right thing because now it's going to die. Okay, so this fella can come here and get a promotion. Okay, housing, yeah, obviously amenities, yeah, all of that stuff is going to happen. We are going to have amenities problems until the end of the game. Okay, so nine turns here. Nine turns here, which is going to be a little bit less because when the population grows, we're going to be faster. That's turn 30. Okay, yeah, you know what? I'm going to do this setter to move here, and then I'm going to do just one setter with Pella to move over there. And then we're going to produce money with those guys. This guy is going to be producing money until the end of the game. New um, regional points on turn 29. I think that's still useful, so let's keep the production going. This fella here... Um, yeah, so 17 turns, okay? So obviously turn 38, game is over already. So we don't need to focus production anymore. Let's focus gold. So we have plus five gold, that's nice. Okay, I cannot purchase a head right now. I need to wait. Anyway, uh, we need to destroy this encampment. Decisive here major there. Okay, let's go with decisive then. Yeah, that's nice. Let's do this. And so, 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 I don't think I'm going to conquer Parsa on this turn because these guys are all a bit wounded. We have a farm here, can I get there? One, two, three, four, I will have seven more movement points. But then I will have to leave Alexander in a very weird position. Okay, let me think about this. Let me see. I have three Hetairois. This guy could come and help. Okay, this guy cannot come any further. Mm -hmm. Can I get this guy here? 
Yeah, so if I get this guy here and I put Alexander there, I can move everybody. Okay, how about attacking now? No, I'm not going to attack now. This guy can get not great stuff. That being said, I could even pillage the mines. That being said, I have promotions. I could promote. I could promote and put Alexander in a better position. Um, okay. Let's think about this. This guy goes here. This guy does this, and then he promotes. That's some money. I can now purchase a Hetairoi, which is very good news, actually. And, oh, I could have bought a Hetairoi and put it here. Well, I'm going to purchase one. Yeah, I'm going to purchase it down here. I think we're doing okay up there. Uh, yeah. Okay, this guy needs to promote. I'm definitely not attacking what well, I could. Could get this guy killed. So my Hetairo would finish his movement there. But you know what? I think it's more important to just take the city. I'm going to forget about this guy for a while. I'm going to do this. And then Alexander is going to stay here. Yeah. Okay. So next turn I think I'm I'm probably taking parts. I have three Hetairois and one hoplite. Everybody has a lot of health. We're going to receive bombardment and an attack from this guy. But I think we can deal with that. You can do nothing, apparently. I could take the food, but I think Susa is not going to grow anyway. Because it's occupied, so... I already have a builder here to fix the stuff. Um, I honestly don't know what to do with this guy. Do I need to fix, like, anything at all? I could come here and chop whatever. Oh, I can I can chop this hetairo. That that could be useful. Yeah, that works. Okay, you you are going to build money. Nine turn for uh, his patties. Turn thirty, he could come here and help. But I'm probably not going to need him. That is the thing. I'm going probably not going to need the help from this guy. Still nice though. Well, I'm going to. You know what? I'm going to get help from an archer instead. That is only five turns and then this guy can start producing money. And obviously we need to kill these people. So let's go here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to do this, then I'm going to kill this guy. And then I'm going to do this and that. Okay, so that works. Yeah, these two guys with a great general, they're going to be enough to take first steps and then in the end of the game Memphis when I really need the healing from the pyramids. Okay, so we need to kill this fella. Which we can totally do. Mm, oh, I should have approached this. Thing is, I don't want to get decisive with this guy. I want to heal that guy. So uh, let's see what can we do. Oh, come on! Seriously, no one can do it. I really wanted to pillage this farm with this hetairoi, but I guess it's not going to happen. That being said, everybody's going to heal when I take Parsa, so it's not such a big deal, is it? Okay, so. So, 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 so this is a his this can he attack? No, he cannot. But he can go and attack here, which is interesting. Do I have another great general? This guy. Leonatus. Plus two movement. Okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I guess this guy would have to come there. Yeah, that will happen. There you go. And okay, Ray is falling next turn. Also, it's under siege now, so it cannot heal unless it's falling now. No, it's not falling now. Okay, so where are my great generals? We have one here. How far can this guy get? Hmm. This guy could totally help me attacking. No, wait. Okay, no, he cannot help me attacking that city. Um, I could move him to Hagmatana, but that would end his turn. And I have this guy there. Oh, this guy is coming. Oh, nice. That was a lot of movement. That was pretty nice. This fella here can approach. And we have this great general who is busy. Oh, we're going to hit that in one turn, so this guy needs to help that which cannot do the usual way, so he will have to come here, transfer to this city. Well, I cannot do it because I have a settler. Wait a second. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. This guy can come here, I guess. Or maybe he will go further down, but I will decide that later. This guy will come here because this is two tiles from there. So this guy can give two movement to this Hetairoi that will appear. That's nice. And let's see, we want to take Isfahan, which is called Ispahan, Ispahan in this game instead of, instead of Isfahan, which is, I think the, the modern name is Isfahan. So this guy can totally attack and he will. And yeah, I'm not getting great general help. That is a shame. That is a real, real shame. Okay, so let's go here anyway. Let's do this. Yeah, that was acceptable. Yeah. Cool. So the archers are coming eventually. And they will help. Okay, so Leonatus, do we want to help these two guys or do we want to help this guy? That is the question. So this guy, if I help him, I think even with six movement he will not be able to attack Parsa. And I'm, I'm not even sure if I need him because I have already four units to attack Parsa. So, and even if it takes two turns, I'm still going to take Parsa on turn 23, which is acceptable. I think I need to send him here because that way later he can go to help the conquest of Ispahan. Yeah, so he's going to stay here and this guy is going to get more movement. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Let's use this. Is this a road? Yeah, this is a road. So let's use a road and let's keep everybody here a little bit more movement. Okay, that works. Yeah. And I can truly get this copper. Oh, wait. Well, you can do this, I guess. Oh, I know what he can do. He can chop the forest. And this guy can get the copper. Copper eventually, it gives you gold. And let's remember that in the end, uh, at the end of the game, we're going to be um, running full gold everywhere. So that can be, that can be useful. Um, what are you going to do? You can come here, build some farms, because I am going to get a city around those food resources very soon. Craterus. Craterus will stay where he is. And uh, what are you working? Mm -hmm. You are doing all right. You have one extra mine to work, which you are not going to need because you're going to lose one population very soon. So I'm going to go with another chop, then let's chop everything. Chopping like crazy. Okay, these people got attacked, which makes sense. Oh, whoa, I did not. So here's what happened. I knew this horseman was going to attack 
And I knew this archer was going to attack me. I didn't expect this archer to attack me. I expected this archer to attack these guys. So that was annoying. I really don't like losing units in this scenario at all. Okay, so we need to do some some extreme things here. Mm -hmm. Let's help a little bit. Well, that sucks. I really want to kill this guy. Okay, that's better. Okay, that's better. Okay, so Ispahan will fall eventually. Just not so quickly. But it will fall. Okay, this guy has the plus 5 adjacency. Yeah. Okay. So this guy has the plus 5 adjacency. Yeah. Let's do this. Can I get decisive? Yeah. How about with this guy? No. Too far. Okay, so when I get the decisive victory on parts, I'm going to heal everybody. So let's get some damage done. Okay, somehow Ispahan is under siege now, which is very interesting. Uh, how about this guy? Can he attack there? No. No, he cannot. Okay. Mm. There are going to be these builders. I'm not going to waste my time killing them. It's just not going to happen. So this guy can come all the way here. So he will, because I want the closest areas to be ready for the, the end of the game, basically. This guy can move a lot, I guess. Yeah, he can move quite a lot. And this guy can go to Gordian to help him again, so he can get to the front. Uh, Leonardus, I think he's going to stay where he is. We want to take Ray, obviously. How about this guy? Does he have enough movement? No, he doesn't. Okay, you, you're already wounded. Do this. Okay, that was annoying. Okay. Keep city, absolutely. So that's another nice thing about taking cities. That sometimes their units disappear. And obviously the units inside the incumbents also disappear. Which is pretty sweet. Okay, let's go. Oh, come on. The archers are so slow, man. Uh, let's do this. This guy can go here. Oh, so now this Hetaira is in a bad position, actually. But he's going to be healed. So it's not so bad. Uh, this city focus production. Remove food. Put an incumbent over there. Okay. Leonardo stays where he is. Okay, so who else can move? The Siege Tower, the Builder, the Hetairoi, this guy. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. That is it. Let's take the city. Wait a second. How about Egypt? Ah, you see? That wasn't it. We can do this, we can do that. Okay, now we're talking. Can we go here and pillage? Okay, not this turn, but I can pillage next turn, which is still acceptable. And this guy is giving movement to everybody, which is good. Siege Tower is not doing anything. You stay there. Okay, so now we take the city, yeah? Always make sure you use the healing. So we are here on turn 22. That is very good. That is very good. This is a good measurement. If you got Parsa by turn 23, you are usually on the road to winning the game. Nice. Now we're talking. Okay, and this city is surrounded, so I'm going to take it next turn. This guy is going to take a beating. He could be attacked by one, two, three units. 
If the AI doesn't attack with a heavy chariot and attack with this spearman instead, it's going to be two spearman attacks against this guy, plus the archer. So he could totally die. But we're going to have to risk that. Anyway, I can purchase a new guy next turn. Ray got an encampment. Yeah, next turn, so I can purchase my new Hetairoi right here, which is pretty good. Okay? Okay. So far, so we'll remove the. No, we'll no, not remove the foot. Yeah, you will be working some foot. Okay, that's better. Um, okay, so I don't want it to lose population basically. Repair the encampment and then we shall see. Okay, so Alexander wants to give movement to everybody. So he has to stay where he is, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or he could be here. There is a unit here, so it's safer. And he's still two tiles away from everybody. Yep, that's good. That works. Siege tower. Uh, okay, so there's only one wall city left, which is this one. There is no way the siege tower is going to be there on time, so it's just going to sleep inside Barsa. Uh, you're going to have to purchase a new siege tower at the end of the game. That always happens, so be ready for it. Oh, nice. That's more production. Yeah, cool. You can always have more production. That is always a good thing to have. Oh. Okay, this works as well, sure. And this guy, this guy will approach over here and wait. And we have a galley that can go and explore. This guy can also go and explore. Wait a second, can he get more movement? No. He can't. Okay. Let's chop the settler. That's nice. Getting the settler a little bit earlier. Um, eight turns. That leaves me seven turns to move the settler. Yeah, we are going to do that. Why are we not growing? Oh no, zero turns. That means I'm growing immediately. Okay, so my next settler is going to have only seven turns, so I can settle here with the last settler from Methony. That is going to work. So this guy can go all the way here instead. Yep, that's what he's going to do. And we're hitting next turn. We're doing pretty well. I think I, I might be doing even better than the last time I played this scenario. Let's see. Maybe maybe I'm, I'm lucky enough to get the 200 score. Okay, and this guy somehow managed to survive. That is very good news, actually. So let's give him some bonus. How much? Plus 10. Plus 10 is very nice. He can truly get a decisive victory there. Yeah. We're going to kill all of these guys, obviously, so that's fine. Um, this horseman here tried to retake Parsa. I'm not happy with him about that, but that's fine. We're going to destroy him with Hetairois, apparently. Okay, that works. I want these hoplites to go south. Mm, okay. Mm, let's see. Let's see. Let's do this. Decisive victory. That's cool. Let's come here. Do that. Kill this guy. Okay, keep city. Absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. Trying to decide what am I going to do here. This guy will attack from there. Oh, that was a shame. The thing is, I want to leave this this tile free. But it looks like it's not going to be possible. Okay, 
Okay, let me think about this. Ah, there you go. Major victory, decisive victory. Okay. Well, almost. Still works. Okay, so now I can purchase a guy. Yeah? Awesome. So we have another Hetairoi. We're going to need a large army here in the north because uh, Persia has a lot of units there and then this city is, as you can see, spamming units like crazy. So we need a bunch of guys to kill those people. Okay, this guy can get a little bit closer so he gives a uh, bonus to this Hetairoi, which is good. This guy is giving me a lot of movement bonus, that's nice. He can stay... He can stay over here, I think. So he's giving the bonus to the two archers, to this Hetairoi and to this fella. And also two movement to these guys that were only getting one movement from this general. So that's good. That's good positioning. Now let's go. Let's start with these guys. They don't have a lot of movement. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that's good. Uh, what are we doing here? Tapsacus, Tapsacus, Tapsacus. Give me more money. Turn 36, that is not going to be useful. So, let's forget about production and get money everywhere. Okay. Mm, yeah, this guy cannot produce anything useful, so... 11 turns, that's turn 33. Yeah, too late. How are we doing, by the way? Oh, look at that. We just got one. Okay. So, choose production in Parsa. Okay, incoming training in two turns. That's. Oh, wait, two turns? How do I have so much? Ooh, Hetairo in three. Yeah, that's much better. That is super good. Okay, so one head idea here. This guy has a nice amount of production right now. I think I can totally chop that head idea actually. It's this style. Yeah, it belongs to Parsa and they are not using it, so boom. Two turns, how about that? Cool. You can focus on production, remove the food, get an encampment. Ooh, yeah, over here. Okay, that works. And now everybody go ahead and advance, advance, advance. Okay, okay, and okay. Alex needs to stay behind to give movement to the hoplites. One and two. We are going to need those guys when the elephant time starts in India. That's why I'm keeping them, that's why I'm bringing them south with me. Uh, okay, now this guy is actually going to stay behind because now he has plus three movement from Alexander, so that's a nice style to begin the turn. Okay, okay, and we have another guy. Excellent. Okay, he can stay here. I can chop this guy, right? Yeah, I can totally chop him. Let's do this. Boom, one turn for another Hetairoi. How about that? That is beautiful. Okay, uh, Amphi something, something, something. Shop, sure thing. Um, yeah, chop. Six times for a settler, that's nice. That is super nice. Yep, do that. Yeah, I keep forgetting Egypt. I keep forgetting them, so can I pass here? Because there is an area of influence by Memphis, but apparently I can pass. How far can this guy get? All the way here. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay, so if I do that, then I get the bonus. Yeah, plus 10. Awesome. Oh, come on, so close. Okay, so you can, yeah, you see the great general stops here because of the area of influence by Memphis. So he's going to stay here instead, I guess, so not movement for these guys this turn, but that's fine. Uh, Egypt is so easy that you don't need to worry much about it. And we have another galley here to fight with. 
Oh yeah, we have another Hatayda coming to war. Now the funny thing is I can use this guy to give movement to the settlers. So after this Hatayda gets to the front, I'm totally going to do that. I'm going to give movement to the settlers with that great general. This guy gives me strength. So, 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 so. I already have a strength guy in this army. I don't need another one. Um, I already have Alex down here, so I don't need another guy there. I have two great generals here. Mm -hmm. Why can't I transfer to another city? Okay, at this point we are starting to have more great generals than we actually need. But I guess that's fine. We are going to get one guy in this city next turn. I can give him one extra movement. I think this city will build a guy here, right? Like, does this belong to... yeah. But it's still two tiles away, so that works. Okay. Excellent. So this is going very well. Yeah, I got one attack from this archer, which I'm not going to tolerate. Okay, let's see this guy. Yeah, the archer can come here. This great general can go there. Now we're getting the decisive victory there. This guy is going to use this stuff to heal. This guy can attack the city, I guess. He cannot do anything else that's actually useful. And Memphis decided to build a horseman instead of an archer. Um, which is good for me, actually, because this horseman is probably going to stay inside the city and he's probably not going to attack me. So that's good news. I'm going to try to get Egypt out of the way at the beginning of every turn now, so I don't forget it. Nine turns, that's turn 33. Nah, forget about it. I already have a bunch of great generals anyway, so let's just go for the money. We're going to want to... Six turns? Okay, six turns is acceptable. I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, I already have uh, a bunch of units, a bunch of, uh, sorry, great generals. So What I want to do now is just get money. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. And let's do that. Okay, so we got Pura. Okay, that's fine. This guy's fine. So these units are going to go to Stranka, so I need to start planning for that. Okay. Okay. And Alexander can go here and he's giving extra movement to everybody, so that's fine. We have 13 turn left, only 12 cities. This is going to be this should be alright. We should be alright. Um Okay, so let me think about this. I, I'm going to need this guy's help here. Yeah, definitely. Okay, that's fine. We're killing this fella. Yeah. We're killing that fella. Yeah. I'm bringing the guys from behind because they cannot attack the city, so they need to do something useful. Okay, so this is fine. This is also fine. I should have done that earlier, actually, but that's okay. Okay, and decisive. Yep, cool. So we took Shariquims. 
yeah, 10 turns, that's turn 34, so forget about it, too late, let's just get the money. Uh, okay, what else do we have? We have this fella here who cannot attack, okay, he's too far. That's fine, that's fine, he can just approach the fighting area. I can leave a guy here, giving movement to everybody. Only plus one, but still acceptable. These guys are a bit far, so they're going to need the plus two. We're going to go there and give plus two to everybody. Plus the archer. He also gets plus two, and this guy gets plus two. That's nice. That's useful. You are not going to get the food. You're going to get an encampment. Uh, yeah, this is not going to... I'm not going to purchase units there, I think. Or maybe one Hetairoi, actually. Because I am going to want a bunch of Hetairois over there. Uh, because the I Indian city with elephants is going to be a pain. You can totally lose a bunch of units in that city. You can promote. In order to heal a little bit. So Parsa is not going to use that tile, not at all. Okay. Then I don't need I don't need to build a mine. And he's not using this tile. So we can chop something else. Although it's probably going to be too late. This guy can wait there. Uh -huh. I guess we can do this if we're going to get a city on that coast. Um, oh yeah, we were giving movement to this fella. And look at that, he can get right there into the action. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Do we want a second great general helping Alex's troops down here? I think the answer is probably no. Let's just go there instead. All right, there's nothing to chop here, so yeah, I'm I'm tired of managing builders, to be honest with you. Okay, cool. Getting a settler in four, growing in five. Yeah, we're going to recover that population. I don't think that's fine. And this guy will go here. Okay, so the question is, I help this guy one more turn, or I or I get ready, or I help like this settler, for example. No, I think. Hmm, yeah, that's fine. I think I'm going to help this guy one more time. Yeah, just one more time to make sure he gets to the to the army in time to be useful. And then I'm going to start using that movement great general for the settlers. Oh. How come we have a unit in Babylon? I didn't even remember this. Okay, can this guy get there in a reasonable amount of time? No, he cannot. But he can use this movement great general. Okay. That's fine. Let's go. Okay, so we're sending one guy here, one guy, this guy could come here actually. Five turns, that's turn 29, which means this guy can get there. Okay, yeah, so I leave this spot there, so when Methoni gets this settler, I can send him right here. Okay, that's good. And uh, I'm going to stop this turn, I'm going to take a break. And I think we're doing very good. I think we might be able to achieve that 200 score. Let's see if we make it, guys.